the pop music at the time also reflected the increased tension of the song. By the time Frank goes to Hollywood as the number one of the charts, two tribes from 1984, Royal Force Hospital had been transformed to its new role as an emergency headquarters for Royal Force Support Command. To be fit for purpose for its new task, the bunker was changed dramatically. Almost all traces of its radar years and associated equipment were removed and scrapped. Royal Air Force Support Command was in charge of distributing supplies where needed throughout the United Kingdom. Everything from personnel to paper clips. In peacetime, Support Command was located in surface buildings at Oreca Frankton. If war seemed likely, then the whole operation would have been transferred here to operate in a more secure environment. The bunker was internally remodeled to fit with its new role. For the first time, provision was made for personnel to survive in the bunker in a post-nuclear strike environment. It was only in the 1980s that the emergency water tank was installed, enough to last the 80 or so staff for 30 days. For the first time, beds were brought into the bunker, with areas allocated to officers and regular male and female staff. A kitchen and canteen were built and even a room was set aside for recreation. There was a complete rewire, an asbestos survey, and a new ventilation system was installed. On the upper floor there was a large room built for the Royal Observer Corps. This was the nuclear reporting cell. The observers collected information on nuclear detonations and radiation levels from other bunkers in the Royal Observer Corps network and used this information to advise the support command staff as to which areas it was safe to dispatch supplies to. The bunker during the 1980s was maintained by only a few personnel, just enough to keep the bunker in a state of readiness to be staffed at short notice, and it remained this way until the end of the Cold War in 1991. The bunker later became an experimental facility for the United Kingdom Command and Control Information System. Also, the end of the Cold War saw a new role for the Royal Observer Corps here at RAF Bolton. As the threat of the Third World War diminished, the ROC expanded their brief to cover chemical and biological reporting alongside their nuclear reporting role. However, this was a short-lived project, and by 1995, all the remaining NBC cells were stood down, bringing to an end the 70 years of service by the volunteers of the Royal Observer Corps. After 1995, the bunker only saw occasional use, and an MOD contractor was employed to keep the bunker maintained. In 2004, the bunker opened to the public for the first time. Initially, only a few rooms were available for viewing, and as the MOD gradually pulled out of the bunker, more rooms became available for the public to see. Despite the public gaining access to more and more of the bunker, Defence Estates retained ownership of the site until December 2014. The bunker is now privately owned, and it's hoped that former Aria Compton will continue as a museum into the future. We hope that you've enjoyed this brief introductory film. For more detailed information, please see our guidebook or ask a member of our team who will be pleased to help.